So about six or seven months ago, I did a video comparing the Soundcore Life Q35 over-the-ear headphones with the Sony XM4 over-the-ear headphones. And I'll, I'll put a link to that video up here if you're interested in checking it out. But since that time, the folks at Soundcore, uh, or the parent company, Anchor, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in checking out their new version, which is called the Space Q45s. And also they, uh, their version of the upgraded version of the earbuds as well. So I think that's what's in this box and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna find out. So let's find out if these upgrades are worth a look. This is very nice. Okay, so we've got, so the Space Q45s. This is the upgrade to the Q35s, the Life Q35s that I already reviewed. And it's got adaptive active noise canceling. So we're gonna get into this and test all the features, including some uh, new upgrades to the app, which is ap apparently um, worth a look as well. So we're gonna get into all that. Let's see what else we've got in here. We have got the Space A40. So this is the in-ear version, and this is the over-the-ear version. And these compete directly with the, the new Galaxy earbuds. Uh, so I'm very interested. I don't own the Galaxy earbuds, but uh, I do own a variety of other earbud styles. And so I'm very interested in seeing how these compare. All right, let's check out what's in the individual product boxes here. So like the Q35s, there's a very nice uh, round sort of oval carrying case here. Take a look at that in a second. Uh, and then there's a quick start guide here in the bottom. So uh, very nicely packaged, I gotta say. This really feels like a premium product. And it's hard to imagine that it is so much less expensive than the Sony XM4s and now the, actually the new Sony XM5s. All right, so here are the Q45s. And you can see they look very similar to the Q35s. I think the headband design is slightly different. A couple of cables here in the box. There is a type A to a type C charge cable. And then if you don't want to use Bluetooth, it looks like they give you a nice little uh, mini stereo plug so that you can uh, plug that directly into your computer if you want. But now we've got to go find out how they perform. So let's go do that. All right, so I've had the Q45s now for about a month and I've had a pretty good chance to kind of use them on a daily basis for work calls, music listening, uh, exercise, and that kind of thing. So we're gonna talk about how they sound because I think that's probably the most important thing, how well the noise canceling works. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about how they're different than the Q35s and then how they're different than the Sony XM4s. Now earlier this year, when I bought this first pair of Q35s, I did so because I'd had a pretty positive experience with uh, Soundcore when back in 2018, so four years ago, I had bought a pair of Soundcore Spirit Pro, I think is what they were called, and I don't think they sell those anymore. So I was pretty confident that I would probably like the Q35s, and the question for me when I bought them then was, how well were they gonna stack up to the XM4s? And as you may or may not have seen in the video, again, I'll put a link up there, I was actually stunned at just how well the Q35s did stack up, especially in terms of sound quality, to the XM4s. And I'm not gonna rehash that in this video, but I am gonna talk about how the Q45s uh, sound. They have actually the same drivers, as far as I can tell, as the q 35 And so as a result, they have the same phenomenal sound reproduction. And just to kind of recap that, in case you haven't seen the Q35 video, what I found most impressive about these Q45s is the ability to produce very clean, clear sound, even on the low end. A lot of times when you get headphones that are bass bias, in other words, they have a pretty strong representation on the low frequency end, they tend to produce a muddy bass. And as a, a musician, I, I don't enjoy that at all. I like, I like a good solid bass, but I don't like it when it ends up being muddy. And these are not muddy at all, and it's really just phenomenal how clean and precise the bass really is on these Q45s like it is also on the Q35s. Now obviously the, the type of sound that you prefer may not be exactly the type of sound that I prefer, so it's kind of a subjective thing. So it's really hard for me to tell you that you will definitely like this or you definitely won't like that. What I can tell you is if you prefer to listen to music styles like pop, EDM, hip hop, uh, jazz fusion, that kind of thing, 
I think that you will much prefer the audio profile that you get right out of the box from the Q45s over something much more expensive like the Sony XM4s. And we'll get into the app and kind of talk about what the EQ options on this are because the, even the app experience is still significantly better than on the Sony XM4s. And what I find very different in that sound profile from the Q45s versus the XM4s from Sony is that in the Sony's you can also get a pretty significant bass and they have a little clear bass option where you can you can dial that up from any of their EQ profiles but you only get four bands of EQ and so those are pretty wide bands as a result so when you dial up that clear bass option on the Sony's you do get a very prominent bass but it tends to trample on those adjacent frequencies and it it really makes the the other mids in, in particular less enjoyable uh, it just it almost becomes intrusive because you get less clarity in the mids as a result and I'm not sure exactly why that is I don't know the technical explanation for that but I can tell you when you use the enhanced bass on the Q45s you just get that you just get that punch in the chest uh, without sacrificing the clarity of the mid of those mid-range frequencies as well and it really is a, an experience that I highly recommend, especially if the types of music you like are uh, EDM, pop, hip hop, jazz fusion. So for example, one of the songs that I used in, in the pop genre uh, to compare these headphones was Katy Perry's It's Never Really Over, because there's a lot of uh, sub bass in that, in that tune. And when that kicks in on the Q35s and the Q45s, man, I mean, it almost is like instant smile on your face because it, it just will rock your world. And then stuff like Snarky Puppy, that's a uh, jazz fusion group. If you've never heard that, highly recommend that. Um, Dirty Loops uh, is another one that I really like with, uh, especially some of their collaborations with Corey Wong. In fact, if you haven't heard the Corey Wong Dirty Loops uh, rendition of Thriller, you should go, go search that out right now. And that sounds freaking amazing in these Q45s. So, but enough about that. Let's talk about noise canceling. Noise canceling is an area where the Q35s fell a little bit short of the XM4s. Now, it is hard to put a number on the, you know, the relative differences in noise canceling effectiveness. I found the XMs to be maybe 20 or 25 percent better than the Q35s in the noise canceling area specifically, and and more specifically than that. I felt like the, the XM4s were particularly effective at eliminating uh, voice and chatter from the environment. Now the Q45s have a much upgraded and improved noise canceling capability and they have significantly closed the, the noise canceling gap. I will say that the XM4s still have a, a little bit of an advantage just in voice reduction, but now that advantage uh, is instead of being 20 or 25% better is maybe 5% better. I mean, it's just barely noticeable. So I really do think that the Q45s have so significantly closed the gap in the noise cancellation versus the Sony XM4s that it's really, it's six of one half dozen of the other. It's really a toss up at this point. Let's take a close up look at how the Q45s differ from the Q35s. So I'll throw a picture up here. From this side shot, you can see the Q45 ear cup padding versus the Q35 ear cup padding. And I feel like the Q Q45s are just a little bit thicker on that ear cup padding. And then if you look at this other shot here, you can see that the ear cup itself on the Q45s is just a little bit sort of rounder, a little, little bit larger. I find both headphones, in fact, also the XM4s to be extremely comfortable for longer term wear. And that's even wearing my glasses. And sometimes uh, when you're wearing headphones over the ear headphones with glasses, they, they kind of push into the temple because the clamp force tends to, to be a little strong. I don't find that to be a problem with any of these three headphone models. Now let's talk about how the Q45s are a little bit different in their build from the Sony XM4s. If you take a look at the ear cups here, you can see that the Q45 ear cup has got a little bit more space. Now if you have a slightly larger ear, the XM4s are probably gonna be a little tight. Uh, they fit me just right, but I like the extra room that I get with the Q45s to be completely honest. Uh, they're just very comfortable headphones to wear. Let's talk a little bit about the new Soundcore app. Now in the previous video when I compared the Q35s to the XM4s, uh, I also mentioned that I did like the Soundcore app better. It just felt more modern. It felt more usable than the Sony headphones app. Uh, the Sony headphones app really as far as I know hasn't really changed and it's just fairly utilitarian. And uh, the user experience is just meh, you know, it's okay. Uh, but I really do like uh, the Soundcore app. But let's jump into that app and take a quick look.
All right, let's go ahead and launch the SoundCore app. This is obviously the Android version of the app. And let's talk a brief moment about battery life. Now, the Q45s have a class leading 50 hours of playtime, and that's with active noise canceling engaged. And that's on a single charge. And up to 65 hours of playtime with ANC off. And just quick charging for five minutes will give you four hours of playtime. So that's pretty phenomenal. Notice this middle section called ambient sound. This is where we can get into activating noise cancellation, normal mode, which is basically no noise cancellation, and transparency mode. And we can customize these modes. So if we take a look at transparency mode, you can see we have five levels of transparency. So the higher the level, the more ambient sound is allowed in for us to be able to hear. So it's pretty cool to have five levels of control over that. Now if we back out of that and we select noise cancellation, uh, I think, first of all, when you activate noise cancellation, you will be floored at just how good this is. And if we go into the customization of this, we can select between five levels of noise cancellation, just like transparency mode. And this is actually very different than on the Q35s where you had three preset modes that you had no control over. Notice there's also an option to set adaptive noise cancellation. And that's not something that was available on the Q35 either. But this allows the the Q45s to basically analyze your environment and determine what is the most appropriate method of noise canceling to use. So that's pretty cool. If we back out of this, you can see on the bottom there, there's an option to customize our controls. In this case, it's specifically the NC or noise cancellation button that's on the left ear cuff. So you can choose what happens when you press that button once uh, or what happens when you press it twice. So if I go in to configure how it acts when I press it once, and you can see by default, it's just going to toggle through our three normal ambient sound modes. Uh, but maybe I really don't ever want to use normal mode. So I'll just uncheck that from the list. And so now it'll just toggle between those two modes. And then we can go to the press twice menu and maybe select it to enable the base up feature when I press the NC button twice. So that's kind of cool. I can turn that on and off as I like. Now the last section we'll look at is the sound effects section. And this is basically your EQ presets. And there are a lot of EQ presets but we can also customize as well. But if we go into the presets here and uh, take a look, you can see there is a very large selection of presets. And I kind of like the sound core default. Uh, it's, it's really outstanding, but it is really nice that they give you all of these presets right out of the box and you're free to you know, pick whichever one works for you for the type of music you happen to be listening to or podcasts or whatever. Now, if we back out of there, you can see we have the option to then maybe go to customize. And when we go to customize, you can see we have an eight band equalizer. Now this is much more granular, it gives you much more control over the customization of your sound profile versus something like the Sony XM4s, which only have a four band equalizer. So the bands on the Sony are much wider, and so you don't have nearly as much granularity and control of customizing that sound. So I'm very impressed with the usability of the SoundCore app and the ability that it gives you to quickly dial in these Q45s exactly the way you want them. So to wrap it up and give you some final comments, I am very comfortable recommending the Q45s for all the reasons that I stated previously. They just they just sound good. And I think there's no way around that. It's just, you have to hear it to believe it. And the price point on the Q45s is $100 cheaper than the XM4s, and you would save even more money over the XM5s, which are even more expensive than the XM4s. Oh, and before I forget, the folks at Soundcore did just send me some special promo codes that you can use at checkout through their Amazon store. And so I put links to those in the description below. Those are gonna only be good during this sort of release event for the next two weeks. So if you think you might be in the market for either the Q45s or the A40s, now would be the time to jump on it and you can save 20%. And those codes are in the link below, so go check those out. So if you're considering some over-the-ear headphones, I really think that you should give the Q45s a serious look. Uh, because I think you'll be delightfully surprised at just how good these things really are. So anyway, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that because it really does help. And consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun out there.